Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to play Pluto Projector by Rex Orange County on the ukulele. So I'll be showing you guys every part including the bridge and the outro of the song. What I just played is basically uh, the main chord progression which we have going throughout the whole song until the bridge and the outro arrives. So we'll be having a look at the um, main riff firstly then I'll, guide, then I'll just show you guys the whole song, um, the rest of the parts later on. So let's focus on the right hand I have my ukulele on the standard chaining so my thumb is plucking the top G string index plucking the C middle finger plucking the E string and ring finger plucking the A string so we got G C E A now the progression will be pretty easy for the whole song like 80% uh, not I say 80% I will say 70% time of the song this progression just goes we have C major open 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 3 then we have an E minor 7, open 4 on C, 3 on E, 2nd on E. Then we have F major, 2nd on G, open C, 1st fret on E, open A. And then we have a G7 chord, open G, 2nd fret on C, 1st fret on E, 2nd fret on A. That's it. Now I'll probably provide you guys with a task, but one thing which you just need to note down right now is basically the pattern. Don't have to mug up things, but rather see how it actually goes. What I'm doing over here is, for every chord shape, I pluck the top string and the bottom string together, followed by the E string, C string, then E string. So I pluck the G and the A, then I pluck E, C, E. And I do this pattern four times on every chord. So it starts out like this C major chord, the great protector, that's what I'm supposed to. It goes to the next chord tree, which is the E minor chord. So you play the pattern four times. And then it goes to F major chord, same thing. What if all this comes for nothing? Everything I thought I'd be. And then it goes to the G7 chord. Uh, I'll do the same thing twice. I'll play the pattern twice. Uh, the lyrics. What if by the time I realize and it's too far behind you see what we do is we put the pinky on third fret of the A string and I play the pattern once and then I pluck open G and second fret on the A string. So the last G7 chord is a bit different. See how it goes. We have one more time I'm playing G, A together, then E, C, E, again, add third fret, then C, I'm sorry, then E, C, then I hit the A string third fret, then A, 2, and open G. So we have the great protector, that's what I'm supposed to be. for nothing everything I thought I'd be and the uncle lasts forever time for me to see I just I ignore my lyrics I might have messed up somewhere but just don't care that's how the song goes and then it goes to the same thing 70 mirror projector I can show you everything and we are on our way to glory And after that, what we do is we strum this chord. Now this is actually a F um, major 9 chord and for that I only have 1st fret on the E string and rest all open. So you strum that once, then you hit the A, then E, then A, then E, then again A, then E. Yeah, so we'll be playing the F minor major 9 chord. For this I have open C, 1st fret on G, 1st fret on C, 3rd fret on A. So we have, after we finish the verse, we have very strong this chord, then again same thing, and then we go to the next verse, spending the years together, so you can do the same pattern, the same finger picking pattern, or you can just do the strumming, so the strumming will be down, down, up, up, down, 
four times on every card. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. But I think uh, it should be better if you just do the picking pattern because for the chorus we'll uh, keep the strumming. So we have 70 years to get the I can show you a growing older every day. I can you can add a just a minute what happens glad that say again you can add the second fret on this E string just to get that F sharp because we have that in the song glad that say again and then back to and the uncle lasts forever it's time for me to change so one more time we got spending the years to get the Growing older every day. I feel like oh, when I'm around you, and I'm glad that say again. I hope the uncle lasts forever. It's time for me to change. So again, back to the same thing F major 9, and F minor major 9, and then it goes to the chorus, will be strumming the chords. Um, it feels like honeymoon, uh, something like that. So, so we do the exact same chord progression over here, but I'll be strumming the chords down, down, up, up, down. So we have um, uh, this right here feels like honeymoon. When you say my name, down, down, up, up, down, four times every chord. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Nothing's changed. Da -da 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 -da. F me seven. You can go to D7 if you want. So what happens is we play the string pattern twice on F major seven, F major chord, and once on the, uh, the this chord which I showed you before. I call it a D7 chord, which will be coming to later on. But for now, you can just remember it as F sharp. Then back to D G7. So we have this right, this right here feels like the honeymoon when you call my name, right? Nothing's changed. I'm still a boy. Inside my thought, am I meant to understand my faults? And after that, uh, we have I don't think so. I don't think I'm meant to understand. Will be the same chord progression. See, I don't think I'm meant to understand myself. So it goes to E minor. I don't think so. memory properly so I'm really sorry but uh, you just basically play C F um, C E minor F G7 and after that we basically go to that part uh, that I do the same, same that part so we finish that and it basically we enter the bridge and now over here we'll do this thing we'll strum the F major chord twice then I'll strum G sharp 7 chord so I have Oh, top string made it, third fret on C, first fret on, I'm sorry, second fret on E, third fret on A, I'll strum the chord. Look at the tab, so we have. Now I'll strum D minor chord, second, second, one open. Now I'll strum D7, second open, second open, the chord which I showed you before, just after you played that F for the previous chord progression, we played that which I called F sharp, so now we have the D7 chord. Now I'll strum G minor, open, second, third, first. And then I'll strum again G minor, and then I'll go back and strum F, and then just repeat the whole chord progression. So we have F, G sharp, 7, D minor, D7, then G minor, 3, 4, F, and you just uh, play that. And um, he might just hum a little bit, sing somewhere, and after that we just basically go to the outro where the whole thing just changes. Uh, stay forever you know more than anyone right so this is the outro before that we will be playing the exact same chord progression like the the one which I'll show, be, I'll show you guys right now we have played this previously uh, for the end or like just before that part what happened is like he played the same thing which we'll be learning right now an octave higher on the guitar so on the ukulele we won't be doing that 
rather we just be playing the same thing for the outro as well as the part before the outro which is in between the bridge and the outro so i hope you get it like we have this part this is a different part yeah and after that we have a bit of uh, thing going on so that's what i'm showing you right now we have a b flat major seven chord three two one open i'll play the pattern four times i'll go to d minor chord i'll play the pattern four times and after that i go to the c minor seven chord where you bar the whole third fret and that's it Back to B flat major seven four times, and then you end the song with one dance stroke on B flat seven chord, which is basically three on G. Uh, I have, yeah, I have. I don't have three on G. I'm really sorry. I just bar the whole first fret, and I have second fret on the A, on the C. So the whole outro went like this, including the octave higher and the lower octave. We'll be playing it in the same octave. So we have. And that's the end of the song. So basically, I just played the pattern which I did for the uh, beginning of the song, the verse and all, and I just played it over here, and that's it. So we got three parts to learn. We had the bridge part. Just after the bridge, we had the outro part, which is played an octave higher and an octave lower, which I played in one octave. And then we have the main chord progression, which was C minor seven, F, um, G seven, which was lead bar, followed by a F major nine chord and F minor major nine. So I hope it helps you out. I try to show you guys the song in a very easy. Uh, manner so let me know if you have any doubt if you guys have any assistance from me she does it helps me out a lot and i'll see you guys back in the next video bye